In the previous video, I explained how I would visualize fee growth. In this video, I'll show you how to use this way of thinking to see the amount of fees that is collected between two ticks. Let's say that we have two ticks, I lower and I upper. And I'm going to ask the question, what is the fee growth inside I lower and I upper? Let's start with a simple example. Let's say that the fee growth was always between the lower tick, I lower, and the upper tick, I upper. And let's ask the question, what is the fee growth inside the two ticks, I lower, and I upper? The way that we will count fee growth inside the two ticks, I lower, and I upper is by the following. We will highlight the parts of fee growth that is inside the two ticks, I lower, and I upper. And then we'll take the sum of the height of the rectangles that we've highlighted. So, for example, I've highlighted the part of fee growth that is inside the two ticks I lower and I upper. So the next part, I'm going to highlight the height of these rectangles. And if we sum these height up, that will be equal to the fee growth inside the two ticks. Since everything remains inside the two ticks, the height of this orange will be equal to fg, or the fee growth. So for this simple example, fee growth inside equals the current fee growth. Okay, let's look at another example. This time we'll have the fee growth cross the lower tick, and then some parts will be between the lower and the upper tick, and then the fee growth will cross the upper tick. And in this case, what will be the fee growth inside be equal to? Well, let's start by highlighting the parts of fee growth that is inside tick lower and tick upper. This I've highlighted in green. Okay, next, let's highlight the parts of fee growth that is either below I lower or above I upper. I've highlighted this in red. Now, to find the fee growth inside, what we're going to do is take the current fee growth. So the current fee growth will have a height up to here. And then from this, we'll minus the height of the red rectangles. So this will be here and then here. So when we take the height of FG, which will be here, and then minus this part, and then minus this part, we will get the height of this rectangle, which is equal to fee growth inside. So from FG, we minus this much amount. We'll call this FA. You can remember this as fee growth above. And from the lower red rectangle, we'll need to subtract this much amount. We'll call this FB, and you can remember it as fee growth below. So if we subtract the current height of FG, which will be here, from here, we subtract this much amount of red and this much amount of red. Then we will get this much amount of orange, which is equal to the fee growth inside. So let's put this into a mathematical equation. The current height is FG. From this, we minus FB and FA. This will give us fee growth inside. The fee growth inside between I lower and I upper. Let's take a look at another example. This time we have the fee growth going in and out of tick lower and also going in and out of tick upper. And let's try to visualize how we will calculate fee growth inside tick lower and tick upper. The first thing that we'll do is highlight the parts of fee growth that is in between I lower and I upper. So here we have a rectangle that is inside I lower and I upper. And then afterwards you can see that the tick goes below I lower. Later the tick goes over I lower, so that's what you see over here. And then afterwards, it goes over I upper, which you see over here. So the part of fee growth that is inside the two ticks will be this green rectangle. And later again, we have the tick crossing below I upper, and we end up to the current fee growth, which is over here. So these parts that are highlighted in green are fee growth inside. How about fee growth outside? So what is the fee growth that is above I upper? And what is the fee growth that is below I lower? Okay, so I've highlighted the parts in red. Here you have the part that is above tick upper. And here you have the part that is below I lower. Okay, so the next part is to figure out the height of these red rectangles. I'll name this FB and I'll name this FA. To find the fee growth inside, all we have to do is take the current fee growth and then minus FA and FB. This will get the sum of the height of the rectangles in green. So fee growth inside will be FG minus FB that you see over here and minus FA that you see over here. For the last example, let's consider the case where the fee growth crosses over the lower tick multiple times. You can see them over here, over here, and over here. And likewise, the fee growth crosses above tick upper multiple times, which you can see over here and over here. 
Now, again, let's ask the question, what would be the fee growth inside these two ticks, I lower and I upper? Again, I'll start by highlighting the parts of fee growth that is in between I lower and I upper. Okay, here they are. Okay, next I'm going to highlight the parts that is below I lower or above I upper. Here in red are the parts that are above I upper. And here are the parts of fee growth that is below I lower. Again, to find the fee growth inside, we'll take the current fee growth. So the current fee growth will be over here and the height of this will be something like this. From this height, we'll minus the sum of the heights of the red rectangles. Here's the part of the rectangle that is above tick upper. We'll call this FA. Now notice here that unlike the previous example, here we're saying that FA is a sum of all red rectangles above I upper. So this would mean we're adding this height with this height, and that will be equal to FA. Likewise, I've highlighted the height of the rectangles that are below I lower. And again, FB will be the sum of these heights. If you take the current fee growth, the height, and then from this minus FB and FA, we will get the height that is highlighted in orange. This will be fee growth inside. So fee growth inside will be current fee growth FG minus FB. FB will be the sum of these red lines over here and minus FA, which will be the sum of these red lines over here and over here. Okay, let's formalize this into equations. We'll define FB of I to be the fee growth below tick I. And then we'll define FA of I to be the fee growth above some tick I. We'll define F of IL and IU to be equal to phi growth inside I lower and I upper. And as we saw in the examples, this phi growth inside I lower and I upper will be equal to FG minus FB of IL minus FA of IU. Let's unpack this a little bit. What is FB of IL? Well, FB of IL, all we have to do is replace this definition, replace this I with an IL. So, for example, let's put in tick lower, I lower, then this will read fee growth below I lower, which we've highlighted over here. And what is FA of IU? Well, let's replace this I with I upper, and it reads fee growth above I upper. And what is this? Well, it will simply be FA. So this is an equation that expresses the fee growth inside some tick lower, IL, and some upper tick, IU.